Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back! Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere! Based I'm YouTube Famous Now! <laughs> Available in 2021! The album, <clears throat> Dad AF. What should we sing? Let's sing something that we always sing together. All right, think we're gonna make it. We were just listening to da, that. Da, da. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. This is Tanya Stance. How are you guys doing? This is my good Judy, Tanya Jean Appelstein. Prettiest girl I've ever seen. And it took a lot of convincing, but I ag she agreed to be in my video today. Now, I mentioned in my video the other day that um, I was thinking about doing Real Housewives coverage. Um, so, Tanya Jean and I, we drive around at night and we get fountain pops. Here, get your fountain pop real quick. Cheers. Housewives. So we, housewives. So, Housewives tonight, starting Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. We just watched the trailer again. Um, so we drive around at night and we solve the world's problems. And then we talk about the housewives. Now let me just tell you, you have to take off your sunglasses for the video so people can see your That's okay. <gasps> You're not gonna take your sunglasses? Not right now. Oh, okay, I'll leave mine on too. Um, <laughs> so let me tell you about Tanya Jean. Tanya Jean watches every reality television show. <laughs> yeah. She does, she watches I'm every- I'm not real proud of it either, but I <laughs> She watches every reality. Now, we have been friends for now, how long? 24 and a half years. Mm -hmm. She, in the 24 and a half years, she has tried to get me to watch it. We used to watch Nancy Grace every night, okay? Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Take it down, take it down. Take it down, Elizabeth. Um, but she watches every reality TV show in the entire world. And I just said to her, I go, okay, I'm gonna introduce you, but you watch every Real Housewives, right? Except for the Pot Potomac. And you said. Girl, I know the Potomac. Oh, girl, I know the Potomac. <laughs> and I'll say her things to her, like, we were talking the other night about uh, uh, Kelsey Grammer's ex-wife. What's her? Camille. Uh, Camille. And see, she, and she like, and I'll be like, what season was it? And she knows what season, and she knows what happened. She knows everything there is to know about the Housewives. So I'll say something, and she'll say, well, what you don't remember is three seasons ago, Eileen did this, and, and I'll be like, no, I don't remember that. So Yeah, they forget what they did last season, and then judge someone for what they did this season. Well, maybe they're growing, right? Maybe they're growing. I, but the reunion is always my favorite. Oh my God, this Beverly Hills is going to be crazy. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. Okay, so I mentioned in my video the other day that I've been real heated about this Erica Jane and Sutton feud that's been going on in the Real Housewives of Orange County. Uh, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, sorry. I don't watch Real Housewives of Orange County as much as, I don't think I watched the last season. Atlanta, Beverly Hills. I stopped watching New York. Because yeah, I can't watch New York any and it kills me because it used to be my favorite. I cannot watch New York. I don't anymore. like New York New York anymore. Mm -hmm. I don't like Louie's not my favorite. I loved Carol. They took her off the show. Oh, I didn't like Carol. I know, we've gone around. <laughs> <laughs> We've gone rounds and rounds about this. Um, Bougie is the one that was married to the... Uh, she's the one that always is like drunk at the parties. And Sonia? She, Sonia, yeah. She's, she's my favorite. I know. And Bethany. And I don't, I'm not a Bethany fan. Oh, I fan. love me some Bethany. And I'm not a Bethany fan. We don't agree on the Housewives at, at all. all. Okay? And I love Atlanta. Atlanta's like my favorite season ever. Well, I don't know. Salt Lake City. You're like Salt Lake City. I, Salt Lake's my least favorite, but I think you really love like Meredith. I love Meredith from Salt Lake City. Um, Sutton reminds me of my mom a little bit. I don't know why. Can you see that at all? Oh, yeah. Sutton reminds me of my mom. Well, her and look, too. She kind of looks like my mom. And so, I have kind of a... I'm going to take my sunglasses off. And she has that... Like, I don't know. She just speaks real... Like, she doesn't like a lot of... Yeah, my mom was like... she didn't No like, mess. Yeah, she didn't like a lot of messy. No, yes, my mom no, did. Right to the point. Now the sun is kind of in my eyes. Well, anyway, mm -hmm. <laughs> they'll It'll get over. It's a pretty sunset. It's a beautiful sunset. Summer's gone. Not Tony, yet. Tony Jean said to me, she goes, you know what's going to happen? The pools are going to close because our pool is right over there and it's closed for the year. She said, you know what's going to happen? The pool's going to close. And then we go to the pool and talk about the housewives. And uh, then summer's going to hit uh, in Indiana, 90. which is what really happened. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I thought we would get on here tonight and we could talk about Erica Jane and Sutton because we've been talking about that in the car anyway. And then we could talk about the real housewives of Salt Lake City starting. We were just watching a trailer and Tony goes, it starts tonight. And I was like, girl, you know everything about the the housewives, of course. Oh, it gets me out of everyday crap. So let's talk about Salt Lake City first, should we? Yeah, you, I mean, you're a big, bigger fan than I am. I mean, they kind of pulled me in last year, but I like, Heather's probably my favorite. I mean, Meredith's fun to watch. That Lisa, I, I don't even know if she knows who she is. 
and the one lady, the Are preacher. Are you afraid to say what you really think? Yeah. And the, say no, what you really think. Oh, man, they'll be coming for me. No. That, oh, say. they will. But that preacher no, lady. No, you got to say what you really think. That preacher lady creeps. Mary. Oh, she, oh, Mary, she creeps me out. She goes, Tanya, we were just sitting here watching the trailer, and Tanya looked at me, and she goes, she thinks she's God. <laughs> I she go, does. She thinks she's God, though. She's like this, yeah, yeah, she's. <laughs> Tanya's like. <laughs> She's like, I, and then Whitney's voice drives me crazy. Well, we could, we were like, I was like, what is her her name? She was the only housewife from Salt Lake City. You didn't know any. You were like, I don't know these girls' names. Mm -hmm. But I was like, um, Whitney, I couldn't remember. And I actually really liked Whitney last season because she did the whole storyline. So, uh, well, dad. you've shared this in vlogs before, so you, I'm, I know <laughs> I say it all the time. So yeah, people her know. poor dad. We're both sober, so yeah, we liked the storyline of the dad. I thought it was done really well. I thought him wanting to come home and her help him. I thought it was. A, it was a storyline that we live like we live that every day with friends of ours and people in our lives you know so that was interesting to me I did not like Lisa and Meredith starting off my favorites were Whitney and Heather and I really loved Jen yes Jen is still your favorite Woo! she is not yes. no no she's not I no let's when did be I... honest Okay, let's be honest. When did I say she was my favorite? I think you still like Jen. No, I don't. Meredith is my favorite, and then Lisa, and I you love like, their friendship. What do you like about Lisa? I like their friendship. They backstabbed each other at the reunion. No, she did. They're not. Lisa did too. They're not really friends. Oh, I got a question for you, real quick, though. Okay, so I was watching. Mary was sleeping. Girl, Lord done knocked her she out. She was so bored. The Lord done knocked her out. So we were sitting there. Okay, I was watching Watch What Happens Live the other night because my husband loves that show because we love Andy Cohen. And um, uh, Andy Cohen's got the 411. You know that song? Yeah, 411. 411. Okay, so anyway, and on there, um, Camille said that when she left the reunion, her dress came off. What happened with that? Do you remember that? She's trying to take her microphone off and her she had to step out of her whole dress to get the microphone off. I don't know. But you don't remember cares. that? I, Do you well, like her? Camille and Eileen are two of the most boring housewives yeah. on any of the franchises ever, forever, in a day. Yeah. Okay. Who was, um, I can never think of her name, Bella Hadid and Gigi Hadid's mom. What was Oh, Yolanda. She Yolanda. was my Loved her so She was much. too honest, and she was too pure for housewives. I loved her. She's classy. Okay, so the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, we all know that Jen Shaw allegedly has all of this legal stuff going on. That's what gonna, is actually going on? Do you understand I don't really, it? I don't understand it, and I read some articles about it, but the plot line this season is that... Somebody supposedly informed the feds of what was going on with her. Which they think it's Meredith. They think it's Lisa. Or do they think it's Meredith? I think they think it's Meredith. Well, in the trailer we just watched, she comes at Lisa and says, how did somebody know that you were at the beauty lab? Oh, that was Heather. That was Heather. And then she says, how did somebody know that you, the feds know that you were at the beauty lab? And she says, um, the, then, then Whitney looks across the table at Lisa, and that's when Lisa said, bye, and she walked out. And you go, that's my favorite part. <laughs> no, it's when Meredith shuts the door. No, that's Lisa. No, it's Meredith. Girl, it's Lisa. She had a white robe on, and she said, "Who are you calling fraud?" We'll have to. No, that was it. Meredith. That That's was Meredith. Meredith, and right. she said, "No, no, no, no." That was Lisa when she said, "Who do you call a fraud?" Well, I thought it was Meredith. Well, they both have the same haircut it. this season. But she slams the door. And she's like, "Bye." <laughs> Why do you think they have give Brooke so much airtime? Well, I ask you about this. They're doing this on all the seasons, right? Like giving the kids more, like on o the OC. The kids are a big part too. I don't know. Man, I'm. I Tanya's like, I have my I like the Jersey She's kids. like, I have my opinions, but I'm not saying anything. You watch Jersey. I don't watch oh, Jersey. Oh, my gosh. I love Jersey's one of my faves. So now there's I love Teresa. Everybody hates her. Love her. There's a new cast member Can't this stand. season on Salt Lake City that's Jenny. I don't know anything about her, but she, apparently she's a firecracker. Just firecracker. I love the fighting, though, on the show. It used to, like, really get to me, and now I kind of, like, live for it. I think, like, we were talking. I feel like I don't like when someone gets in someone's personal space. I don't care who you are. That's, like, I don't care if you like Sutton or you don't like Sutton. When Erica got in my face, I could, I could. What would you do? I, I would swing. That's too close. <laughs> that is personal space. Why don't they go there on the show? 
Like my husband said, he said they are better than me on this show because if Erica, she was like in her face with her fingernail. Oh, she would and have Sutton lost was it. like, "Get out of my face!" And she was like, "I, I promise you." Sutton <laughs> said, "Was shaking in her shoes." She took her little Kathy Hilton. Gift. I felt so bad for her. She took a little box and everything. I know, but man, she has. What just... did they get as a gift from Kathy Hilton? Oh, I don't know. Probably something, something. I'd like to go to a dinner party at Kathy Hilton's house. She didn't invite me. She didn't invite me. I felt so bad for Kathy Hilton. She's the frosting on this season. I oh, like I like her too, but I mean, hell, it's got to be entertaining. I'm sure her life's pretty boring. <laughs> you know, let's put some... Okay, so we were talking about the Erica Jane and Sutton situation and when we were driving around the other night, and I said to you something about, like, okay, because I've loved Kyle, like, up till, like, last season and this season. I love Kyle. Everybody tells me that my husband looks like Mauricio, which I don't think. Do you he think sounds like him. He doesn't look like him at all. Okay, so... Uh, that's so, my opinion. I, that, isn't, that's my opinion. And that's my, my opinion. opinion. Don't threaten me ever, ever. Oh, I just, like I'm getting nervous right now. Woo! I'm shaking in my boots. Um. Anyway, ain't nobody scared of you, Eric. Cause she don't scare me. Does she scare you? No, and that's why I said I don't understand why they didn't do the therapy session that they did to Jen Shaw. Who is scared of Jen Shaw? And they all raised oh, raise their hands. Your, no, I'd be scared of Jen Shaw. <laughs> I'm a little scared. I mean, I, I know somebody in my life that reminds me of Jen Shaw. So I, I'll tell you after this, that you'll, you'll, as soon as I say it, you'll be like, oh, I see text it. Text me. Uh, <laughs> should I text you? No. Um, here, I will. Uh, hold on a second. <laughs> here, I'll put it on it. You can't say it out loud. Don't say it. I um, <laughs> You said you wouldn't get my chin. You got my chin too. Where's she, my phone? Here, I'm just gonna show it to you. Oh. Oh yes. So thank see, God you are alive. Oh. <laughs> but she does remind me of Jen Shaw, and you know I liked Jen at first because she was so just like I thought she was real and whatever. But this is the thing that kills me. Okay, first of all, Jen Shaw is not gonna be able to talk about all the legal stuff that's going on with her. So yet we're having a repetition of another. what happened. Another thing that happened on Beverly Hills. We have this major lawsuit that Erica Jane can't talk about. Okay, now as far as Erica Jane getting in Sutton's face and stuff like that. Like, I think she's rude as crap, right? But, like, they're making this whole s season about Erica Jane. And Erica Jane can't even talk about what's going on with her legal proceedings. I mean, she can't come... I mean, you said the other night, you're like, I don't think she's going to be on next season. I don't think... No, I don't think they can have her. I mean, I think... How could she possibly get on there and talk about it? I just think there's too many victims. Like, well, who's going to side with that, regardless of whether you like her or not, and whether she's married, didn't know, didn't know, didn't know, didn't know. If I, I feel like for me, if my husband was involved in something with that many victims, I would feel not, I didn't do it, but it would make me so heavy that I was anyway involved in anything that would hurt somebody like that. Well, and we were talking about that the other day when PK says for this episode that's going to be on this week, when he's like, <clears throat> she's posting this stuff on Twitter, showing herself half naked and doing sponsorships basically, and there's no mention. And and Dorit says, um, who Alex always says I'm Dorit because I talk too much. But he, um, oh, honey, you ain't Dorit. Dorit drives me nuts. You're not Dorit. I like, I, sometimes I like her, sometimes she's like, <clears throat> Garcelle's my favorite, I think. This oh. I do though. She's like, she's, I don't know. She just, I you know. like her because she's straightforward. I she's think. very straightforward, and I think she's classy. So the but um, she just gets her feelings so hurt by people that really aren't her friends. They're not her friends. They're none of them are her friends. They ain't her they friends. They're not your friends. They are not your friends. <laughs> you don't know me like you that. You do not know me. <laughs> Like when they were in the furniture store and Kyle said, um, or Sutton said to Kyle, like, I was talking to a friend. I was like, oh, girl. Quote. This is going to come up. This is going to be the reunion right here, right? Well, and the but, thing is Kyle can't, like, she can't even, like, she always turns around to her. And I love Kyle. You know how much I've liked Kyle over the years. But she always turns it around to, I'm a victim and I'm the great friend. But she said she was two-faced this season. Yeah, she was. She stirred it. She st stirred it hard. Well, okay, look, okay, I want to go back to the, vi the victim thing in a second because that was our conversation the other night and that was like what we were both saying <clears throat> that I think is going to be with Jen Shaw too. It's going to, like if Erica says, I feel bad for the victims because uh, what they did was they showed Dorit saying, well, she did say she felt bad for the victims. Well, all sh they showed that one clip of Erica Jane and she was like, it's about the victim. It's about the victims. But that was like all she said, you know? And I, I was happy that Dorit actually challenged her at that dinner. I'm telling you right now, if so, Kyle, after having the private conversation, what? 
of somebody. Paparazzi, where? Okay, so Kyle and Sutton have that private conversation where Sutton says that she's going to, if you put my eye out with that fan because you don't know what you're doing, I'm telling you right now, it's over, okay? <laughs> you're canceled. <laughs> I have a long time ago. <laughs> so anyway, by the way, we did a video together, a Q&A years ago. So anyway, that means she's getting bored when she's grabbing for the fan. Okay, oh, by the way, I need my lip gloss. So Kyle and Sutton have this private conversation, right? Are you sure that's not mine? No, it's not yours. Let me see. We go through this all the time. With okay, Sutton. go. So. Because you're such a generous friend. I do. I give you things all the time. I love it. You're very, very kind to me. <laughs> Believe it or not, he's very giving. And your finger just touched my lip gloss. That's okay. We can hand sanitize it. Okay, so Kyle and Sutton have this conversation where Sutton's like, I'm going in and I'm going to say this stuff. Then at the dinner table, Sutton tries to have the conversation with Erica Jane. Erica Jane doesn't want to have the conversation with, conversation with her. And she says, okay, so you don't want to talk to me. And she goes, no, I don't want to talk to you at all or whatever she says, right? That's when Kyle starts coming across the table and says, but you said, but you said. That's not a friend. <clears throat> no. And then when Kyle, when Sutton confronted her about it at the furniture store, where they're all buying the rings and stuff like that, gorgeous. Yeah, just try. I'll take this. 4,000. I forgot my ring today. When I left the house, I was in such a hurry. Anyway, I have to say that because then the people come for me. I'm not used to wearing a wedding band yet, you guys. She always says to me, she goes, I'm so happy to see you wearing a wedding band That's again. pretty. It makes me so happy because I haven't been able to wear one. And uh, somebody was real mean on my review video yesterday and they said, that ring meant so much to you that you didn't wear it yesterday. I was like, well... <laughs> I know they're, and this is yeah. They're quick to come for me. These are the, the housewives. I, I, the I, housewives on keyboards. I know. I forgot. Where's your wedding ring? It wasn't. It was a man. And I walked out of my house and I forgot my ring. I'm sorry. It anyway, was a I man. I love my husband. But anyway, <laughs> God bless his heart. God bless his heart. Bless you so much. I, we have a friend of ours, and she always says, "What does she say?" Oh, bless. Bless her heart. Bless her heart. That means f you. Yeah. Uh, so anyway. So then when they're in the furniture store and Sutton confronts Kyle and says, a friend, Kyle's like, no, I was just trying to get you to get honest. Girl, you were calling her out at that dinner party. And then what killed me was this, okay? They all want to rush out there onto the doorstep when Sutton leaves. Sutton's crying and literally shaking. I could see her shaking on the TV. Could you see her shaking? Oh, she's scared. She was ups really upset. I would be too. But she was scared when Erica said she'd sue her. That's what she was scared oh, about, Oh, yeah, right? Sutton be afraid something got to rub off on her because she does have I don't think a lot of people but she does do a lot of charities and I think that did scare I her. understand that yeah. Dorit looked at her and said <clears throat> you're Dorit don't do no charity no but Dorit said you're threatening to uh, sue us and we shouldn't be scared of you like I thought that was a valid point that they didn't focus a lot on but then what killed me about it was they all come back in and Sutton's left and they go on and start talking about it and I'm like oh no 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 mm -hmm. if this one was that upset and left the dinner table my, my ass would be right behind her you'd be too. grabbing your purse that, and your ass would be out the door that's what we do me. that's what you do whether so I agree with you or not Right. I'm still leaving listen, with you. That's yeah. what we didn't do that very well. That's what you do for a friend. And you don't let a friend sit there and talk behind your back. And I'd have called them all out. I'd have called another <laughs> private meeting and I, without Erica and I'd say, listen. Oh, that was dirty. <laughs> that, I wouldn't attend. We got in a fight about that. Not in a fight, but we disagreed about it. I this. would not attend if someone said, hey, we're going to call and, call and talk about uh, so and so, who's my best friend. And we're going to figure out what we're going to do. I'd be like, well, well here's then what, call them. Here's what I don't understand is Invite her. that the producers are the ones that are feeding them all the mm -hmm. information. Because they said that about the article. They're like, the producer sent us this article. Mm -hmm. But then the producers are editing what they're talking about. And then they don't really know what they can talk about, you know? The life of reality TV. I know. But, you know, the point I wanted to make about that we talked about the other night was when... When Dorit was talking to Kyle, that would be like me talking to you. And I'd be, this girl's this and Sutton. that. Or Sutton. And she would be, and I would be Sutton and you would be Kyle. And I'd be like, ba 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 ba. I'm vetting to you as my best friend, correct? Mm hmm. I'm not going to, because that's what I do. I'm a human being. I'm not going to sit down at a dinner table and talk to that person like I would. Right. I'm not going to call him names. I'm not. She was just bidding to Kyle. Well, Kyle used that moment against her. Like she felt like Sutton should come at Erica the same way she talked. I don't, I talk differently with other people than I do my best friend. Well, that's what we were saying. Like we were in the car and we were talking and she's like, if you ever called me out at a dinner 
Like we, a lot of times we'll be talking on the way to a meeting. Then we go to a dinner afterwards. Mm -hmm. If you called me, you said, if you called me out. That's at not a what dinner, you said in the car. Right. Like that's not a friend. No. And I think that going into Salt Lake City, they're going to focus on the crime and they're not going to focus on the victims the just way they have, the same way they have. And I think that the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills is starting to get a lot of negativity because I was kind of seeing some stuff online about how they aren't focusing on how all these victims have been hurt, allegedly, by Tom Giardi. It's all how, how it's going to affect me. Right. Like, and they so can say victims and they're... In their million dollar outfits, but it's never like I was thinking when I was watching it. I'm like, I gotta quit watching this if she's still gonna be on it because if I was a mom of the burn victim that they did the right the article on in the interview, if I was that mom, oh, I'd kill her. Knowing she's getting paid to be on this show talking about the crime, right, and acting like she knows nothing about and it, and she's so. She's so upset. Who cares? Like, I don't care what your life's like. That's my kid. Well, we were talking about it. She's sitting there talking about how she's so broke and stuff, and she's still got her glam squad, and she's still posting these pictures, and it's like, why don't you sell your 10,000 Louis Vuitton bags and Birkins and shoes and everything else and go get a job? Like, if you're that upset about it. Why don't you put out a formal statement about this that maybe she has? I don't Man, know. I didn't know that we were so, like, we were so into this. I know the other night we really were. <laughs> Girl. Well, I mean, until she got into Sutton's face, and then what was interesting about that episode was they started talking about the victims a lot, and Alex said they're going to start focusing on the victims on this show, mm -hmm. because that's what Real Housewives has to do. The producers, they have to focus it on the victims, because if they don't focus it on the victims, it's going to be a real bad look for the housewives. Well, I think used to, for me, it's kind of sad because housewives used to be entertaining. What they wore, what they did, what they did when they went out with their friends, and so they got in a tit-for-tat fight. But now it's just, it's too heavy. It's victims, it's fraud, it's, what are you doing? You're selling your soul to look like a Barbie doll? No, thank you. Yeah, it's sad. It is sad. And I think you have to kind of have that high dramatics for it to be even somewhat interesting at all. Mm -hmm. And I think what's interesting, too, when you look specifically, like, at Beverly Hills, like, Teddy left the show. Well, they fired her. Because she was too normal. They said she was boring. Well, they who's fired the one that her. left the show? Denise? Lisa Vanderpump. Denise left the show. Lisa Vanderpump. Well, yeah. I don't think they asked Denise back. <laughs> Mean. I also want to say, um, while we're talking about this, condolences to, because I'm sure she's watching our uh, video, condolences to Nene Leakes on the passing of Greg. That was so sad. Did yeah, you I miss that? Nene. Do you know Kenya Moore's on Dancing with the Stars? Is she really? Mm -hmm. You love Kenya. I do like Kenya. We go back and forth with this. because I just, Well, I will say last season I she felt... She's messy, but I like her. Last season I felt really bad for her. Last season I felt really bad for they her. Hate, they hate her because she's so pretty. You don't think she's pretty? I think she's pretty. I don't think that's why they hate Oh, her. I think so. I think she... Because <sighs> she don't mess. She knows them girls are messy. So she's... she's this... <laughs> oh my God, how long is this going <laughs> to What else? What else? Orange County. You oh, think they're messy? Boryville. <laughs> I'm yeah, glad... now that Vicki Gundelson's gone. That one got horrible between her and... <laughs> I loved when she looked at Tamara and she said, you're on this show because of me. <laughs> that might be... Was it her to Tamara that she said that? Well, that yeah. might be my favorite line. Yeah. I don't know. I'm trying to think of my favorite line ever from A Real Housewives. That's... It might be something that Ramona said. Well, Ramona walking... <laughs> oh, when she walked to the fashion show, she was like oh, this. Oh, God, I loved her so much. I love Ramona so much in the fashion show. Oh, I can't stand her. She is so clueless in life. And everything's always, <laughs> I had a horrible childhood. I love her. Nobody Ramona. loved me. <laughs> Nobody loved her, loved me. And I'm sorry, I'll try to do better than she does it the next day. When is the Beverly Hills reunion? Are we almost done with the season? Uh, they're filming it now. So it's going to be in a couple weeks. Yeah, I think so. I don't know. What do you want to see from Salt Lake City? I don't know. I don't even know if I'll watch it if Jen has victims out there. I'm just tired of all this. It's Are you going to start watching Beverly Hills? I don't know. Depends if they have Erica back. You don't think they should have Erica back? I don't think they should have Erica back. First of all, I don't want to see a whole season about these crimes and them fighting over what they believe or don't believe. Like, I don't, the whole season to me has just become about that. Well, it's supposed to be entertainment. And here's what I don't like I don't like the fact that they think we're stupid. You leave your, you leave in the middle of the night and divorce your husband. And then the next day, all the shit comes out. 
and he's had a car wreck, and now he has dementia. And don't get Tanya started on the Hulu documentary about Erica Jane that she started, because she will talk about that for two hours straight. I feel bad for that. It is. Well, this is what I don't like Kid about... it was burnt up. This is what I don't like, is I don't like that they are taking um, the sadness of reality... And turning it into entertainment. Entertainment, television. yes. That's what I don't like well, about it. Well, I feel like it's kind of like uh, watching somebody get, I don't know, like, like, like you're watching somebody get paid for ruining another, or making someone's life worse. Allegedly. Because she's not involved in it as a- Allegedly. Allegedly. And even though if she's not, she knows nothing. Just show some compassion. I'm interested to know, okay, from your point of view, and then we will end it on this. If you found out that your husband had done all this stuff and you literally had no idea, would you divorce him and leave him in the middle of the night? No, I'd probably kill him. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that, no. If, no, I'm serious. No, I wouldn't. I mean, because, I mean, like. I don't think people really get this sometimes. But when it's I talk not. Can I just finish this? It's not even that she left him in the middle of the night because of this. Well, the last four years she's been on the show, it's all been a lie to us. Like they think we're stupid as viewers. We pay their salary, so as viewers they think we're stupid. So now he cheats, and then he wasn't nice, and then he withheld money. Well, the last four years you act like you guys were. Getting it on and loving life, and having a, and he was so it's been a lie. Your right. life has been a lie. So we're invested in a, a lie. lie. Yeah, hold on, it's gonna stop really quick. Right. Hold on. This okay, all over we're back. The place. What? <laughs> <laughs> this is all over the place. This is us driving around. This is us driving around. Okay, so yeah, I agree with you. I don't know what I would do. Like, I mean, if that happened to me with Alex. I think I would wake up and feel like, what just happened to my life? I would be like, I don't even know what's going on. I don't know if I could put one foot in front of the other. I, I would know the know-all. To then go put on a pretty outfit with your glam squad, squad and show up and film a reality show? Yeah, or go on the back patio and spread my cheeks. I mean, that's not going to be my next thing. Right? Like, like, I mean, I don't know that I could leave the house if all of that was going on. You know, And she's talked about how difficult it is, and maybe she wants to show her side of how difficult it is. I don't know. Or maybe she had a contractual obligation, so she had to do this season. Well, and she had to make money. Sh true. Yeah. I mean, why can't you just work... To, to make a settlement, like, hey, I'm gonna, because she won't give any of the money up, because that's allegedly. So they're coming for her because she won't even make a settlement. Like, would you not say, what can I give you? Like, take everything I have. Mm -hmm. Take it all. I'll get a hostess job and work oh, in a restaurant. She's a rock star. Allegedly. <laughs> she still should never have gotten up in Sutton's face. I don't think in 24 and a half years there has ever been an incident when you and I have ever been in each other's faces. Oh, hell no. I, I mean, I'd be like, I'm pull, pulling over and you need to get out of my car. <laughs> Remember when, I'm going home. Remember when Lisa Renner, Renna or whatever broke that glass at Kim okay. Richards? Kim? Yes. Let's talk about Kim Richards. Okay, she needs to not be on the show as well. But, I mean, you love Kim Richards. She's not my favorite. No, I when don't. When she like and Brandy Glanville showed up at Kyle's bedroom and they had matching outfits and matching high center ponytails on, I was. I was better. Uh, I was She's just better. But wait, let's talk about Lisa Renna real quick before we get off the show, okay? Because I like Lisa Renna, but like, this is. Oh, look at the sunset. Oh, God, it's I beautiful. Know, it's, it's blood orange. So, okay, so. This Lisa Renna, she just likes drama. She is just totally into the drama. And I was so done when she went to Garcelle's and brought that bottle of wine. I told you this. We had this conversation, remember? And Garcelle gives her all these reasons why she is legitimately upset, right? And Lisa goes, well, if we're going to do that. Tit then, for tat. Tit for tat. Then, you know, like, um, I just want to say, what's her husband's name? I can never remember. Harry Hamlin. Harry Hamlin. I was really upset that I didn't receive a text after we came by to bring you the pot, Harry's pasta sauce so that I could tell Harry how much you love them, love the pasta sauce. And Garcelle looks at her and she goes, I thanked you when you were here. And she goes, I know, but like a text would have been nice. I could have told them afterwards that you enjoyed the pasta sauce. And we sauce. drove all like, the way out We here. drove all the way out here. I'm like, what? Yeah. She, she wants to be Chris Jenner so bad. Like when she was like, oh my God, should I call Chris up about our kids dating? I was like, okay, it's not Amelia dating one of Chris's. We can't even get into the Kardashians. Yeah. 
That's a whole other thing. Because you said today that you were glad that Amelia broke up with Scott Disick. Oh, I can't stand Scott Disick. Do you like Scott Disick? I don't know what I think of Scott Disick. I know that the whole family loves him more than they love Courtney. <laughs> Okay, Courtney. Okay, okay. Go watch Salt Lake City. If you want to see Tanya and I do more reviews, let us know in the comment section below. I love you guys. Say goodbye, Tanya Jean. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.